Hey, welcome back, Digital Kids. Um, so I'm going to kind of go over the syllabus of uh, how we're going to uh, talk about what's going to happen in this class this year, okay? So I'm going to share my screen with you. And share. There we go. Okay, so now you can see uh, the syllabus, and I've pushed this out to you electronically already, but I'm just gonna kind of go over some basic things that we're gonna be looking at in here. First of all, uh, if you're ever on campus, my room is SL107, it is the science annex right next to the cafeteria, between the cafeteria and Champs Hall. Plan is first period, and that's remember when I'm gonna have my Google Meets. Uh, we will be meeting at 8.40 every day every Monday to meet with our Google Meets, okay? And then this right here is my email, so if you ever have any questions, you can email me directly, okay? Now, materials for this class. Um, obviously, uh, a textbook, but we won't, we won't, most of the stuff I give you won't be problems out of the textbook. I will actually give that to you individually, so you won't really need that except for to look at. Uh, we are working currently on getting you the digital codes. We don't have those right now, but we are working on getting you the digital codes. It'll probably be sometime next week before we can get those out to you. Uh, a binder uh, for notes and things like that. Um, you can use it with your other classes. That's fine. The last thing is a calculator. Now, there will be graphing calculators on the Chromebooks. However, if you guys are doing a quiz or a test and the browser is locked down, you will probably not be able to use a graphing calculator or a calculator on the Chromebook. So you may want to have a calculator handy somewhere around the house. Um, the ones we need for this class are about $12 or $8. You can get them at Walmart. Uh, they're just TI-30s. Now, uh, if you already have a graphing calculator for your math class, you won't need to have these because the the twelve dollar calculators because the graphing calculator would be more than enough okay so if you've already bought a calculator for your math class then you won't need to go ahead and buy one for my class okay here's just an overview of how the semester will be sometimes we'll you know depending upon time we'll get to chemical reactions sometimes we do have to push that to second semester so we'll just play it by ear and see how things go all right so please remember technology and cell phones are present in today's society but when we're on a google meet it's very very important that you follow the right etiquette and that you're not on your phone and you silence your phone or don't have it with you because we are not going to be on those devices when um you're on a Google Meet, okay? Now, grading. Grading is quizzes and tests will be 60%, uh, labs will be 10%, and classwork will be 30 Remember, I'm going to be videotaping all the labs, and there will be handouts provided for you. So therefore, you will be also responsible for having the labs. Uh, once a semester, or nine weeks, I believe we do an ADI lab, and you will have to write a lab report. You will also be required to do that as well. Okay, uh, lab safety rules, we're gonna be doing that all week and we're gonna be learning about different types of equipment and you will have a quiz at the end of the week. Makeup work, okay, so for the digital kids, um, you, will be ha you will get, the, all assignments are due on Sunday at 11.59. So by Tuesday, your assignments need to be done for half credit. It, after Tuesday, then that's it. You don't, it'll be a zero in the, in the grade book, okay? So that's it. If ever you see hack that has a Z in it, that Z is a zero, that means you failed to turn that assignment in, okay? Sometimes when you hit turn in through Google Classroom, it doesn't turn in. So then you'll see a zero, don't, don't get nervous. Uh, we can work that out. If you email me, we'll talk about it and we'll uh, work that problem out, okay? But anytime you see a Z, that means it's a zero, okay? Students will have one week to complete all assignments and have them turned into Google Classroom by Sunday at 11.59. You'll be required to meet with me twice a week through Google Meet. Actually, that's only once a week through Google Meet, but I'm also gonna have a weekly check-in on Wednesday where you're gonna have to fill out a Google form and check in with me, okay? This is also how we might be taking attendance. So please, if you have a conflict with one of our Google Meets, communicate that with me through email, okay? Now, Google Classroom. So students, you need to use this code right here. That's what you're gonna do to join the digital class, okay? This is also how we're gonna conduct our Google Meets. Um, the first Google Meet we will have is on Monday. And what I'm gonna do is I will send you out, mon uh, Sunday afternoon, I'm gonna send, or evening, I'm gonna send you out a Google Meet code. And so you will log on to Google Classroom and you'll use your Google Meet code, okay?
And then this is your parents. Your parents will also have a Google Classroom, okay? So anytime uh, I need to talk to parents or anything, I can also conduct a Google Meet with them because I can generate a link with their class as well. So there will be times where if I'm going to talk to your parents, I may do a Google Meet with your parents and therefore I can see them face to face, okay? So that's pretty much it. You do have to, uh, you have a Google form which you're gonna have to sign the syllabus and safety contract, both you and your parents, okay? So make sure you look for that in Google Classroom because you are gonna have to have that signed. All right, so that's it guys for the syllabus and I'll be talking to you guys later. I'll see you later, bye-bye.